What's up guys, Fahad Zaman here. In this video, I am going to show you how you can edit your videos using B-Cut Video Editor. It is very easy to use. There is no point in using a software which you need to take a hard training. B-Cut provides almost all the important features regarding video editing and it is extremely easy to use as well. It is available for both Windows and Mac. The download link is available in the video description. Let's start by opening up the software. So there are three sections that make up the interface, the main navigation, the timeline and the video playback. Let's start with media in the main navigation. There is where you import your media files for your project and can organize as you wish. Secondly, we have a number of menu items that will help spice up your videos including music, text, filters, overlays, transitions and elements. This part in the bottom of the interface is what we call a timeline. Last part of the interface is your video preview screen. This is where you will be able to review all the changes and features you have implemented. You can now import your media files to the program. Click here to import media. To start, drag and drop any media file into the timeline. To delete anything on the timeline, select a clip and hit the delete button. You can also use the zoom slider to get a different view of your timeline. You can also split, trim and crop your clips. If you need to trim the video from the beginning or the end of the video, hang your mouse at the front of the clip until this arrow shows. Drag it forward or backward to unleash in the position where you want to trim an unwanted part. You can also split video clips to edit it further. Move the playhead to the point where you want to split and press the split icon, the scissor icon in the toolbar and then you will split the video clip. To delete any clip, select the clip and press the delete button. You can also use transitions in your videos. If you are adding images to your videos or like a smoother cut from scene to scene, you can add a transition to your videos. You have found a transition you would like to use, drag and drop it into the timeline or click on the plus icon. Once it's there, you can see what the transition will look like in your video. If you don't like how it looks, Simply drag and drop another transition in its place to replace it. You can also add filters and overlays to your videos. Open up the filters tab. It has multiple filters to choose from. To preview a filter just double click on the filter you would like to view and it will load on your video in the preview screen. As each video is unique, you may find that some filters look better on different videos. Next look at overlays. Overlays are powerful visual tools that can really enhance the look of your videos. You will have a lot of fun trying each overlay, but let's choose one for this. Similar to filters, overlays will vary depending on different scenes of your videos. It also allows you to customize effects in different ways, such as by changing the duration. You can drag the edge of the icon to change the duration. You can also add background music to your videos. To preview each track, simply double click the song you would like to hear. Once you have found the right track, you can drag and drop it into the timeline. 
once it's in the timeline you can double click on it to make some adjustment to the music such as adding fade in and fade out adjusting the volume and more You can also import your own music by clicking import in the media section. Once your music in the media library, you can drag and drop it to the timeline. B Cut has a large collection of great titles and lower thirds that you can use in your videos. To add a title, just drag and drop it into your timeline or press the plus icon. Once it's there, you can drag it to the place in your video you would like it to appear. To customize the title, you can simply double click it in your timeline. From there, you can change the font size, color and location of your title. At the last, here is element tab. From here you can choose different element and you can use them into your videos. You can drag it to the place in your video you would like it to appear. For those of you making on-screen software tutorial videos, this feature is going to be a major productivity booster. Instead of having to use a separate screen capture app to record your instructions, PCut offers a built-in screen recording feature complete with audio. The resulting file gets imported directly into your media library to be quickly added to any project you are working on. Now you have finished your video project and are ready to export or share it. Click on the export button. A pop-up window will appear to let you choose the file name, location, video format and video quality. Then click on export button. So that's all for now, give this video a like and share it with your friends, comment down below if you have any question, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.